Welcome to today's demonstration for the TigerGraph UI Development Toolkit. In today's demonstration, I'll be talking about a bank where I'm looking at Customer 360 uh, using TigerGraph algorithms for recommendation, churn, avoidance, and other kinds of connections to TigerGraph. Uh, the second element that I'll do is I'll talk about two different personas. The first persona is a KYC or Customer 360 view uh, who may be connecting directly to the customer. The second view I'll see is more of an analyst who is looking for uh, sentiment, uh, churn potential, and then trying to create interactive uh, programs for my KYC customer. And my first screen that I see then is we'll start down the path of what it looks like from a KYC screen. As I click on these kinds of things, you'll see common search. This may be a combined query where I'm looking at Tiger Graph. I may be looking at something like salesforce.com or Tableau. But what I start to see now are some graph kinds of connections or algorithms over on the left to filter, things like sentiments or influence scores, etc. And again, what I've done is I've shown here that perhaps Fran Farmington is at risk of churn based on a Tiger Graph query. And again, this could be a combined user interface uh, inside of your current Salesforce or Tableau kinds of systems, et cetera. And now what I start to see is a bit more of what I can see from a graph connection perspective. In this case, I see Fran Farmington. I see that I've been recommended perhaps by the Tiger Graph system that I have a low sentiment score and that I as the KYC person need to respond in a couple of ways and we'll see that here in a second. And then I wanna dig in a little bit more to find out. First thing that I'm drawn to is it looks like Fran may have some issues with his credit card. We'll see that again in a different view here in a second. So that's perhaps one of the reasons why he's got low sentiment. I'm also drawn to his corporate account. In this case, what I can see via Tiger Graph query is that I now see one of his co-owners also has a low sentiment score, which combines now to give me uh, a matching sentiment score that perhaps is low for Fran. The other thing that I can see is I can see other sort of OLAP and OLTP queries out of Tiger Graph, uh, where I can see credit cards, recent activity, etc. Now when I come back to my main screen, I can also learn a couple of other things about Fran. The first is he has a customer journey or journey match, if you will. I can see over on the right that he has three things that uh, I enjoy at the bank um, and he hasn't yet to complete a couple of additional things. So what I've realized is now he's a high net worth individual and he may be on this journey match for a gold customer in my bank. The other thing that I can do now is I can do time series queries uh, from the user interface to Tiger Graph. And again, what I can start to see now is I can see a set of uh, swim lanes now uh, for account activity. And then I can see, sure enough, he was doing great. And then he lost his credit card. So now I start to see a couple of factors here. I can obviously time slice this, et cetera. And again, these are all configurable uh, inside of the Tiger Graph UI uh, account. The second thing that I can do now is I can actually come all the way over here. Now, what have I done? I see recommendations here by product lines. Those are simple algorithms that you can build inside of Tiger Graph. And through the toolkit now I can surface those for people who don't know what Graph is. In my first uh, swim lane here, I have personal banking. What I can say is, well, I found something uh, which shows a pattern of attributes perhaps um, about Fran Farmington and perhaps other people who look like Fran. And I'm making this very specific recommendation uh, uh, for this KYC uh, rep to tell Fran when he gets uh, on the phone and say, hey, it looks like I can make you some money uh, if you're interested. And this is specific to Fran. Um, I can also see then what those things are doing here and where I see now um, <clears throat> he may have a personal alert. So I'll see that here a, a bit more in a second on the back side. Second thing then his business account, right? I can see now in this case, I may want to create a recommendation where he can actually get uh, a free, free travel miles, something that gives him again more money uh, in his pocket, if you will, for his corporate activities, et cetera. And again, these are specific alerts um, and those kinds of queries that I can write over in Tiger Graph. Then I can also see over here on a third product line, uh, wealth management. If we do some certain things here, he may have a risk of, of imbalance or other kinds of things that are going on over here, like debt to savings ratio, et cetera. And those again can be queried uh, inside of Tiger Graph. So what I've shown now is a couple of different elements here um, inside uh, what the KYC person uh, would actually see. And what I, uh, I could even do is I can actually go look at his background. I can look at his history. I can look at other kinds of trends, things that may be important to me as KYC 
um, uh, uh, rep to go do this. And again, I can use influence graphs inside of Tiger Graph, et cetera. Now what I'd like to do is switch over to the second view. Now in the second view, I'm a different persona. I'm an analyst. What I'm looking for is uh, needles in haystacks, but I'm also looking for haystacks of potential issue. In this case, what I see is I'm looking for customer sentiment that is risky. It's a low sentiment, right, that may cause my customer to churn. It may cause them to uh, uh, do some other kinds of bad behaviors that I want. Now what I can do is I can identify influence in combination uh, with the sentiment. And really where I'm going now is I, as an analyst, I'm trying to figure out where perhaps do I want to have a customer service representative call? Perhaps I want to do some outbound marketing to try and keep my customer sentiment high, or I've seen other kinds of attribution that I'll see here in a minute out of the graph in Tiger uh, where I want to go dig in. So now I've got some good information on that. What I can do now is I can go look at my KPIs. Well, I can see a couple of things that are very interesting that I've tied to. Now, this may be a combination of things where I can plug in again to a Tableau database or I can plug into a data mart. And I'm using this as what we call a predicate where I can query Tiger Graph and say, tell me more about these kinds of categories. Well, I see the number one reason uh, why people churn is because they have a lost and stolen credit card. Well, I know that Fran over in my KYC system uh, has a lost and stolen credit card. So that's a huge indicator. I can also see that there's some time trending here, segmentation that I can do in real time in Tiger Graph and or perhaps connect to these other systems. So now I know a little bit more information about that. The second thing that I can do is I can look at segmentation, right? What I can do is I wanna come in now and slice and dice with a Tiger Graph on the back end. But I, again, I don't know GSQL and I'd like to uh, do this in more of a click base. What I can start to do now is I see that, well, <clears throat> there's a couple of things going on here. Number one is if people are influential within the bank, so perhaps they are recommending to other bank uh, persons and or they have family members, et cetera, I really should address this in a couple of ways because they have these other contact surfaces, so they may already have other account owners, uh, and there may be where I'm going here is I see their social influence and their sentiment level is bad. So now what I'd like to do is put that all together. Now what I've done is I've picked those segments. Again, I've queried Tiger Graph, and through this user interface here, what I've done now is just a simple REST endpoint. What I can do now is say, well, in red, I have high net worth individuals um, inside of the bank. I have these connections now perhaps to prospects um, and other folks. And so now if I lose a friend Farmington, I'm not just losing his business account. I'm not just losing his personal account. He is highly connected and these other high net worth individuals, I may be losing much more than just a simple account. What I'd like to do now is again, use the power of Tiger Graph through the UI here. What I can do then is I can say, let's query that and find other folks. So what I've done now is I've looked for that haystack and now I found the needle and then I'm finding other needles that look like uh, Fran here. So what I've done now is I found a whole group of people in a simple set of mouse clicks uh, inside of Tiger Graph for some, for some queries. And now what I'd like to do is create a proactive outcome. Now, again, in your organization, this could be a phone call. There could be a prescriptive list of things to do, et cetera. But in this case, what I've done now is I'm recommending uh, that we reach out via perhaps an email campaign. And then I can in include all of these folks, not just Fran. So I hope you enjoyed today's uh, demonstration of how the Tiger Graph user interface toolkit uh, can connect to Tiger Graph as a backend in our customer 360 uh, scenario.